everybody, and welcome to episode number 27 of the Whitlings Prototype. When we last left off, I had the easing component kind of working, and I tried the classic plan of, you know, slamming the keyboard. Oh, well, actually, what happens if I... Ooh, yeah, that's a problem. So we've just got a couple bugs to work out. So being able to translate... Uh, you know what it is? It's This is the problem here. I think this is the root of the problem. By the way, this might be a shorter episode today. I'm not too sure how my time schedule is going to work out. I thought I would try and uh, cram an episode in here quickly. So, let's trace the problem. I know that when I click on something, <clears throat> I should be easing the camera, I should be translating it to its new location. But instead, when I click on it, the location does not change, the zoom does. And we can watch the distance here. The distance is never being modified. There we go, six. So that means there's a problem with our... Oh, it's interesting. Our camera offset direction is not normalized. Oh, it's multiplied by six. Ah, that makes sense. Hmm, so let's look at the code, see what's going on here. In the camera controller, begin easing to target. Let's see where this gets called. Shift F12. So in here, target equals start target. And here we're setting the target when we tell it to ease to a selectable. Calculate target to camera. This is using target position. Um, let's print out target.position here. Let's see if this changes, right? Zero, zero, oh right, because our center cube, I was like, oh boy, that's bad. One, zero, zero, two, zero, zero, three, zero, zero. Okay, so we know our target position is correct. Target to camera. Target to camera. You know, I'm actually really tempted to combine these two things into a single transform. Because if I combine both easings into a single transform, ugh, that would mean that if I change the easing halfway through, I think, I think things could go bad. But it's worth thinking about. It's worth putting on the list of maybes. It's always good to have a desperate list. <laughs> like maybe when you've, you're looking for something and you can't find it in your house and you start looking in worse and worse places. I feel like combining these two into a single transform ease is like looking in the refrigerator. There's a small chance it's there. It's happened before. Hmm. So this is actually really interesting. This transform position
Hmm, let's make a note here. Do... Oh wait, no, I already thought about this. We want to keep it starting off going up, but eventually we can use the camera offset transform. Oh. <gasps> Maybe I don't even need this camera offset di direction. Target position plus camera offset. Normalize, multiply by distance. So these two are essentially the same. It's just how we calculate the camera offset. Let's try and keep it like this. Oh. Interesting, yeah, I was adding start target dot position twice. Cool. Okay. So this transition is still not working. Translate easer update ease. Position goes from camera start to camera end. So something's wrong with our camera end calculation. I do believe we can get rid of this commenting stuff. I might actually spend some time cleaning this up. Maybe I'll do that off stream. Watching somebody clean code is not really that exciting. <laughs> Just commenting and making sure everything is everything is being used properly. We don't have any dead code in here. So awake is working fine. Begin easing to target. It must be this target to camera. Oh. Oh, hey, oh, geez, oh, boy. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is the problem. Where are we using this target to camera? We're using it to calculate camera end only but we know how to calculate the target position it's this Target to camera. <coughs> so maybe we can just return something here. And I want to return the forward of the offset transform plus it's up, normalize that. And then the target position plus the offset times the distance. We've got our offset, we normalize, and then we return this. Which means calculate target to camera can be used here and here. Hmm. <laughs> 
change. What's the camera end think? Oh, start target. Hey, -o. target. Which means I need to set the start target before I call this function. There we go. Hey, and we're back. What if I. Hmm. This really could be an issue. Let's go to the drawing board. I think this is going to be the main trick. Oh boy. Remember, in the design, I'm able to flip the world over. So that means that this logic needs to work not only with rotating around the y-axis, but doing a 180 degree flip on the forward. So here is our camera, or here is our start camera position. And when we rotate, we calculate a new transform and get a target camera position. But if halfway through, we click on this one, it's actually just taking the target position and saying like, oh, maybe I was right here in my transition. Now, I think the camera goes here, and then it continues the rest of the transition to the target. So, I would describe this as two eases on different components. Uh, maybe not components is right, on different properties shared by a component. I think it might be better to Oh, hold on a moment. Let's see. So we want the position to be going like this, and then the rotation to be using the camera's current position and building its vector this way. Sorry, I'm drawing with my mouse now. You can tell it's pretty terrible. Um, let's see. So let's look at our rotate... So this is our direction, and here we're doing target dot position. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? Instead of lerping the camera, what if we lerped the target? position. That would be pretty cool. Hmm, okay. Let's let's try that out. I'm not going to rename stuff because I want to be able to rewind in case something goes wrong. 
This is a target start. Mm, dang it. Where do we call this? I know I removed that argument last time. Starting ease. Why not? That should be fine. Wait, why do we need to start begin easing and awake? We're like already there. Which means, yeah, that we can take in the new target. And that means when we call this, there we go, we'll pass this new transform. We can get rid of this set target now. We don't have to break those into two separate functions, which is quite nice. Mm, okay, so target start equals target.position. Cool. Target equals new target. Target end equals mm, target dot position. <laughs> okay. So then we call begin ease. Uh, that does its all. That does its stuff internally. So I do believe that our on update ease is going to get a little bit more complex because instead of changing the position of the camera, we're going to change the position of the target. Oh, nice! You can type target start with only your left hand. Hmm. So there's our target position. Oh, should I do this again? Camera offset direction. Oh, can I just use the camera offset direction? Target position plus camera offset direction. That means we're going to need to calculate this. Here we normalize it. We set it up when we're easing our rotator. This will be transform.forward plus camera offset transform.up. We normalize, we multiply it by the distance, and then we're done. I feel like we might also want to do this a third time, so we'll probably want to pull this into its own function. We'll call this calculate camera offset direction. This function wants so badly to be useful. I'm going to make it happen. Don't worry. I'm talking to the function. It helps sometimes. Boom. And then we will call that, oh, not there, here. Because we need to call it due to the rotation changing. And here, we'll just, oh, OK. 
Oh. <laughs> Let's call it, and then we'll just add it to the target position. Oh my gosh, I did it twice in a row. <laughs> COD, camera offset direction. There we go. And then when we change this, we change the distance, then we will also need to calculate. In theory. Oh. <sighs> Rookie mistake, rookie mistake. There we go. Come on, Unity. Let's see. So in theory, <laughs> well, that was super wrong. <laughs> Okay, so we know that our translate Maybe we need to do it here too. I feel like we're calculating this all over the place. We really only need to calculate it when this changes, this changes, or this changes. And in the beginning. Oh. <laughs> cool. So here. Does this use target? No, it does not. Cool. Whoa. Whoa, now. That is... Oh. Oh, I'm lerping this target dot position. And target is a transform of a cube. We do not want that. Camera target position, there we go. I thought it was weird because the cube was moving. I was like, that's not right. Yeah, it's true, it's not like... Um... Basically, target dot position. I don't even know if we're going to need this anymore. We still kind of want target so we can look at stuff. Let's get rid of these comments. Things are looking good there. Okay, a little closer. The first ease looked pretty good. However, when the ease completed on complete, on end ease, Yes, that is the problem. Target end. Hmm. Oh, it's not target end. It's target end plus... Camera offset direction. Hey, okay. 
Dang. Whoa. I think we're still using target position somewhere. Look at target. Oh no! Yes, camera target position. That seems right. Oops. Oh! <gasps> Oh man, that is just, that is just too beautiful. Just a little bit of math and a strong, stubborn head. That's all it takes. Mm. Well. What should I do? <laughs> I was expecting that to take a while. Oh, 30 minutes. Not not too shabby though. Uh, you know what we could do? Hmm. Let's clean up the code a little. I think that's what I want to do, and then I'll I'll call it. But my I think one of my next goals is when the camera's rotated, the directional arrows are not relative to the camera's facing. So left is spinning the cube to the right, and up is spinning the cube towards the player. Towards the camera, I mean. Hmm, so that's on our list of things to do, but let's control F for target dot position. Hmm. Let's do a shift F12 on target. Nope, not control F12, shift F12. So here and here and here. I guess we do need to get the position. The target is a transform. Yeah, we do need to keep that. Okay. So our use of target dot position seems fine to me. I'm worried about this offset direction. What do we got here? So we only need to modify this when forward changes or when distance changes. Do it early on awake, that's fine. In here, camera target position is changing, but the offset direction is not. So we can, oh geez, we can get rid of this one. Here we're rotating, that's important. Here we're changing the distance, so we got to. Oh, you know what, let's only recalculate if we got a new distance as well. Ooh, we didn't try to scroll at the same time. So let's slow this down. Let's say we got a five second curve and our easer is two seconds. Oof. Okay, so begin. Mm-hmm. So 
Snap, snap, snap. Dang. Well, we have a chance to improve, right? Well, that's interesting because here we're beginning the ease. Oh my gosh, I think we might need a zoom easer as well. That's really funny. Because the zoom easer could just ease the distance between A and B. We can get rid of our camera start and end. We can get rid of our target to camera as well. These can say goodbye. Target, um, I would put this not in zooming or rotation around. Oh wait, zooming. We already have a zooming category. So we've got our zoom easer. I really like this curve. It's a good one. We'll say it takes half a second to zoom. Uh, we might want to change the way the zoom works, but let's test it out. Let's see if by separating them into three different components that that would actually allow them to interact seamlessly. So we've got our zoom easer. That means in our update, zoom easer dot update. So we'll use our really cool. Oh, I think that might be it for me. Uh, thank you everybody for coming. Uh, when we come back next time, I will we'll get the Zoom working. So I hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you next week or tomorrow.